you only have one chance to make a first impression, as they say. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write your best letter to your beautiful Ukrainian lady. My first tip is to write in grade five basic English. You know, keep it simple. No fancy philosophical writing or English colloquials because guaranteed they're going to throw it into Google Translate into Ukrainian or Russian and it's going to mess it up and it's going to start by creating confusions and misunderstandings, which is not a good thing. So begin the letter by saying, hello, my name is, start with a compliment compliment her beauty, compliment something that's generic about her profile that applies to any lady because we're going to send the same letter, copy and paste, replacing the name only to all the ladies that you want to meet through us. Then what you want to do is describe yourself, introduce yourself. Don't talk about your professional accomplishments. That's very anti-cultural in Ukraine. You don't want to do that. Um, just uh, describe yourself, what's important to you. Uh, you know, your redeeming qualities as a man, as a, her future husband. Weave into the next part of the letter uh, three open-ended questions, asking her uh, important questions uh, that are important to you about her, open-ended. Might be what she thinks about, you know, religion or the Bible, maybe uh, a passion you have, something that's open-ended, okay? The idea is you want her to open up and reply on these topics because these three topics are important to you, okay? Then what you want to do is paint a picture of how your life looks, you know, what is uh, your life like? Listen, don't be flashy. Don't talk about your possessions and, you know, because you don't want to chum the waters to um, attract a great white gold digger. Don't do that, guys. You know, you want to be modest, be humble. Uh, the letter should be maximum one page double spaces. What's important is that you finish off the letter by actually inviting her out. You guys got to know that serious Ukrainian ladies are not interested in what they call virtual correspondence, you know, letter writing or even Skyping. They want to know that you're going to get off the couch and you're going to come to see her, that you're serious about that. So what you want to do is you definitely want to build in there when you're planning your trip to Ukraine. And then, that's very important, guys. Very, very important. Put the date that you plan on coming to Ukraine. If you don't, they're not going to generally take you seriously. You want to paint a picture of how you see your future life with your future wife, right? You know, write so that she gets a picture of what this life looks like in her mind's eye. Then finish the letter with a compliment again. And um, again, invite her out. Now. I suggest you invite her out romantically. You know, say, I would like to take you on a romantic dinner in Kyiv or wherever, um, and around these dates, which is when I'm planning to come to Kyiv, okay? So that's the general structure of the letter. Okay, now for the don'ts of letter writing to your beautiful Ukrainian woman. Don't brag. Uh, don't use the word love at all. Uh, don't, uh, you know, talk about your professional accomplishments. They find it as braggy and don't brag. Uh, don't talk about your stuff. Don't be flashy. Um, you know, just be right and simple English and be modest, be humble, you know, be realistic. <laughs> okay. Uh, and be honest. So guys, what I've done is in the description below, I put examples of great letters that clients have written. So study those letters before you try to write your own. And then when you're done, basically, email your letter, your photos, and your completed client questionnaire to coaching at matchguarantee.com. And then what we do is we will manually email all the ladies that you're inviting out with your photo and your introductory letter. And then we get replies back from the ladies and we will email you one at a time as they come in. Be diligent in writing this letter because again, you only have this one chance to put your best foot forward and you'll get yeses and nos based on this letter. So good luck.